Uh, first of all, Carla, good to see you again. So nice to see you too. Congratulations on a Thank you. fine piece of work. It's such a uh, wild, wild ride. I, I know. Mean, you first read the script. I mean, there's so much emotion there. I yeah. Mean, what was it that grabbed you? You know, I think um, actually sort of what you're just speaking about, um, there was something that was like laying bare in a really great way emotionally when I about this script because it has these sci-fi elements and it has birth and death and Mars and you know sort of that those couple of things that are just ahead of where we're at now in terms of te technology but it all comes back to this sort of um, the importance is human tactile contact mm. important and how important is it to us um, as an individual and as a species and I think um, you know it's interesting because the thing that also attracted me is that this character of Kendra that I play wanted to get away from Earth, wanted to get away from the challenges of being human and the pain that came along with that, and would have been happy to finish out her days on Mars. And she goes up there to do one thing, she goes up there to terraform, she goes up to do what her training has been to do, and she ends up realizing she's kind of there to babysit. Yeah. And in that process, ends up falling in love with this kid and, and unwittingly becoming a mother, which she never thought she would be. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and, I, and yet not a typical mother. I mean, I think somebody who, I think that the, it's a mother only in that she really fiercely realizes that she has to get him to earth, no matter how long or short he's gonna last, no matter how long or short he will live, um, to, you know, to experience love and to experience people and to experience the messiness of Earth, everything she's run away from, you know. Right. Um, so I, 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 I was really taken by these four people who are deeply alone for different reasons mm -hmm. and who through this connection with each other um, end up kind of creating this strange patchwork of a family. That's why I love the title. Yeah, I know. You, you know, know, it's funny, while we were shooting, they, they, they were sort of figuring out what the title was and this title, uh, came up and I thought wow it's so yeah it's really perfect for this movie now um, I, I personally I love the guy I've, I've known him for years but what most impressed you about Peter well um, I also I've loved his work for so long and and wanted to work together um, for quite some time and you know I, I think uh, he has, as you know, Peter Chilson has such an innate elegance, mm -hmm. and I think that that translates into his movies and certainly into this film, and and that he is always looking for the humanity in a moment, and uh, and that to me is um, key to a movie like this. Um, so just every day, I, you know, I think as an actor, what you want is a director with a very clear vision, uh, and generally a director who has a very clear vision is also equally collaborative because they have nothing to defend, mm -hmm. you know, and they sort of are, are sort of bringing in. Um, so he has those beautiful qualities, which is a very strong vision and is incredibly collaborative. And so every day on set, as an actor, you feel that you can jump off the cliff and take risks because you have somebody who is watching, who's minding the store. Yeah. and. Uh, so I just, yeah, I, can't, I don't have enough wonderful things to say about him. I really love working with him. Well, you too and everyone else have really done something special here. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. much for your time. So appreciate that. Again.